Hi, this is Evan Pantazzi coming to you from uh, New England. Uh, you can see the lobster traps in back of me. They're getting put out now, springtime. Going to have some fresh uh, New England lobster pretty soon. Kind of exciting because that's uh, a wonderful dish. Uh, if you've never been to New England, you got to get on up here. Uh, I got a question today uh, from an email. Um, it wasn't on YouTube, but we're going to answer it on YouTube. Um, it's uh, why Q Show isn't more widely accepted. And um, actually, it is becoming so. Um, in the beginning, as Mahatma Gandhi uh, was uh, known for saying, is at first they uh, deny, then they ridicule, then they accept. Well, we've gone through um, the denials for sure, and we still got a lot of denials out there. It's not going to be an instantaneous um, changeover for people, no matter how much work you show um, the founders of their styles um, uh, went through uh, to get the Q show into their styles, even documented it in their books and their um, writings and their trainings, um, but it's now being ignored. And then, of course, um, the ridicule. Uh, people made fun of us because. Uh, would be hitting the pe the people, and there was all sorts of chars uh, uh, against us. It's like it's funny you're hitting the guy. Okay, well, yeah, well, isn't that what you're supposed to do in martial arts uh, rather than pulling the punch? That so many schools do. Yeah, we hit each other, and yeah, we knock each other down. Yeah, we knock each other out. But uh, again, there's no injuries that we've ever sustained in Q Show. Um, we've had a couple of the catchers <laughs> receive an injury, but not from the Q-Show itself. Um, know of a man that um, ripped a bicep muscle trying to catch a guy and why we don't even catch him anymore. And we found out that the people that fall, much like uh, being drunk in a car accident or falling down a flight of stairs drunk, uh, they don't get hurt so much. Um, yeah, they feel the pain, they get the results, um, and they pass out, but they don't have the damage uh, from the fall. Uh, that's because the body loosens up and uh, that's what was intended by nature. Anyway, they made fun of us for hitting people. Um, then they made fun of us for um, doing the techniques and uh, knocking each other out, which I, I don't get the correlation there. But um, now they look at us and they make fun of us for whatever reason. Um, some of the uniforms we wear, uh, just the way we um, take apart the katas and investigate them. And uh, to me, that's what we're here for. Uh, the old masters, they all uh, traded information amongst each other. And why shouldn't we? And it doesn't matter what kata you study or what version. Yeah, they made fun of the versions of the katas we do too. You know what? The katas are just a vehicle. They're not the live all, end all of the martial arts. They're a vehicle for training, okay? And once you get it, it's uh, your kata. You imagine what you will in it, you train it as you wish, um, you train it as your body allows sometimes. You know, you get older, things don't work the way they used to. I uh, wish they did, but um, they're going down. But you know what that is? That's an education too into showing you what you're going to be able to be doing um, old, at older ages in life and how you can sustain your martial practices um, far beyond your youth and how you can be uh, viable still as you get older and why the old senseis of um, the 70, 80, 90 year old range were still rather effective is because they had these inner secrets of the Q show. So um, we're, again, we're past the um, denial uh, we're, and we're not quite to the full acceptance, but we're getting there, especially among the students. Instructors are still being stalwarts and uh, staying away from it for the most part for whatever reason. Um, maybe fear that they don't know the information and they'll seem like a beginner. And for God's sakes, if that's the excuse, you got to get out there, man. We're all beginners. Uh, I've been doing this for decades. I still feel like a beginner. So um, you, you got past that. You got past the ridicule now a bit. You don't hear the comments about bullshito and all that kind of stuff. And those guys are bullshito because they never tried it, yet they ridicule it. So that's kind of odd. Uh, but now uh, we're going into acceptance and again the students are flocking to the seminars um, uh, Unfortunately, the instructors aren't we'll get them there eventually because they're going to have to once the students start coming back from the seminars with the information The instructors are going to have to know it as well so uh, those are the three stages uh, Again, we're into the acceptance stage and you're going to see Q show bloom and we hope to take it um, to the next level with all of you uh, in a sensible, safe, and ethical manner. So thanks for tuning in, and remember, subscribe to the channel and then uh, forward your questions. We'll answer it here on YouTube.